video to get to the part that I was like, what did they say about that? Makes it easier for me to go back through everybody's feedback. So, all right. Thank you all for being here. Nice to have the, the gang back together again. I remember the last time we had a meeting, all of us. So it's nice to see so many of you. I missed you. <laughs> so I want to talk about some big changes coming up for us. Uh, as I think all of you know, um, we've got modular ads coming up. That's February 1st is the start date, Sarah. Okay, yeah, so then all our ads will be modular, which will make our ad stacks much nicer, much easier to deal with, um, creative and layout. It will make your jobs easier because you won't have to deal with everybody's random wonky sizes. So congratulations to everybody and um, kudos to everybody who put a lot of work in on that. I'm, I'm excited. We will, we will still see some other sizes up through like the 15th. Those are being honored for a while and it won't affect the TV media for now. So. Okay. Yep. All right. The other big change is that last week we signed a contract with a company called Roxon for their uh, production manage production. What do they call it? It's a production software. Anyways, um, and it's going to change our workflow a lot. Uh, essentially, our entire workflow, pretty much, um, with the exception of ad creation, is going to be contained into Roxon. So um, the the pages will be built in there by the layout center. Then um, budgeting will take place in there. Um, the content, once we're done with the technical part of it, the content will, instead of exporting from Brightspot to Google Drive, will export into Roxin. And then we will um, you know, assign stories to pages there, similar to what we do now, um, just with a, a very different interface. And then from there, once the pages are designed, then Roxin automatically places the content onto the page. So for some pages, um, that means essentially we'll just need to check the page, make sure that everything fits style, um, do proofing, but we won't have to design all of those pages, especially when it comes to inside pages, um, opinion pages, some of those things like that. Um, so that's going to make a big difference in our workflow, obviously. Um, it's, it's a very interesting software. The company that makes the software is out of Sweden. So everybody from that company has really nice accents. And then the company that they work with um, to help us get everything set up and to help us get um, the skeleton set up for what those pages will look like once we design them. That company's from Norway, so they also have good accents. Um, <laughs> it's been just nice listening to them in the meetings. Um, so there's a, a lot of technical work that has to be done to set everything up. Um, work is going to start next week on some of those technical things. Um, in terms of design, I expect it to be about a month before there's much that um, we're gonna get involved in because there's other stuff that needs to be figured out first. And then there's going to be uh, integration to Brightspot, um, all of that kind of stuff. Um, some of you will be called in to help with some of these things, for example, setting up those skeletons for all the different inside pages, things like that. You know, we'll have the, some of you designers pulled off regular duty so that you can be focusing on that. Um, the software is gonna take um, four to six months to be set up properly and be operational. So we're looking at maybe June. Um, you know, as we get closer, obviously, we'll keep, keep sharing information on that. Um, so my list. So um, with Roxin, like I said, the content kind of automatically flows onto the page. So um, it's sort of similar to when we run a script and then, you know, we'll put it in the skeleton or something like that. It just does that part automatically. Those pages can then be opened in InDesign. And then, you know, we can do whatever we want to to them. So we can use it to place content onto an A1 and then, you know, designer, you open it and then you know, work on the CP to make it, you know, something really flashy or different, skybox, all that kind of stuff. Um, and because you don't have to spend so much time on those inside pages because they're uh, more automated, uh, that will allow more time for those kinds of things, for, you know, um, graphics, for um, requests to build CPs in advance, for, you know, focusing on the sports cover, variety cover, um, whatever, it's gonna allow some more focus on that. 
um, just kind of automate some of the some of the simpler pages. Um, I don't have a ton of information right now on a lot of things to do with it, um, exactly how different phases are going to work out. Um, we will keep you all updated um, for the pod and the hub, you know, in our meetings that we have every other week, whatever updates I have, I'll be sharing with you. Um, Sarah and Travis, I know you all have meetings with your teams too. So um, getting those updates then, once we know something, we'll let you all know. Um, like I said, it's a big overhaul of our workflow. It's going to mean some significant changes for us. Uh, so as soon as we know things, we're going to make sure that you all know things. Um, so um, yeah, as we get going with Rocks in the plan is to train everybody on it. Um, so, you know, pod members, you'll all be trained on how to do the, the budgeting in there. Designers, you're all going to be trained on how to do that. Um, all those kinds of things. So um, it's going to be um, interesting. <laughs> Get everything figured out and set up. Uh, the companies that I spoke to that are already using this software in their production were very complimentary of how well it works and the quality of product that they get out of it. Um, over the past several years, the company has had me sit through a lot, <laughs> a lot of different demos and meetings and such about uh, different software that does similar things. And um, I don't know how all those other companies are so far behind when Roxanne is doing this and doing this so well. You know, those other ones were, um, you know, we could bring a fifth grader and you could design a better paper than, you know, what those were dropping and stuff for us. So, um, yeah, Sarah, did I miss anything that you can think of? No, you did good. Nailed it. Okay. As usual. <laughs> <laughs> I try. Um, you know, like I said, this is going to be big changes for all of us, and we don't know exactly what that's going to look like right now or the exact timeline of that. Um, as we know things, we will make sure that you all know them too. Um, I imagine that you have questions. Um, and again, I don't have answers to a lot of questions. So what I'm going to ask you to do is if you could please just email me with the questions that you have. Um, let me know what you're thinking, um, you know, any thoughts. And then I will work over the next week to get answers for all of those questions. And then I'll send out a document. Um, with all the answers that I can get. And the, the questions that I can't answer, I'll, you know, just say, uh, I don't know. I'll just put this emoji. <laughs> so um, again, I, I don't have all the answers for things right now, um, the answers for exactly how this is going to affect us and everything. But um, we're going to figure it out. And again, as we go through, keep you totally updated. Get through it as a team. All right, that's what I got. Uh, Matt, did you need the pod members to hang around for? Nope, okay. All right, thank you all. Again, please just email me your questions and I will um, get what answers I can get out to you as soon as I can. Thank you all. <laughs>